Hey guys, Fibbik here with a live commentary for you guys. I've moved this to my second channel because it's not quite mainstream enough for my main channel. Um, but I'm going to be answering the questions from episode 1, which was on my main channel. I asked you all for questions, and as always, get all your questions in the comments of this video. I'm going to set up one of those um, Ask FM accounts as well, so you guys can ask me on there, which would be cool. Um, so, I'm going to get into it. I'm going to play a bronze game. This is my bronze MLS team. We've got Irvin, uh, we've got Jean Baptiste, who's a base 90, 77 pace, 91 strength. I've got a par of 86 pace at centre back. Win at right back with 93 pace. Ashy, who's 90 pace at left back. We've got Mofat, who has the best shooting stats in the MLS bronze category. Uh, really good long shots for a bronze. Uh, we've got Engun who is an absolute beast. Look at those stats for a bronze. Awesome. We've got Farfan at Cam. We've got Kato with 91 pace on the right mid. We've got Nyasi on left mid. And uh, we've got Zardes at striker, who's an absolute tank. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot on this dude. Um, so I'm going to attempt to play a bronze match and answer your questions at the same time time so it sometimes takes a little bit of time to find a bronze match which is really frustrating and I think they need to do a code change in my opinion it should be they should change it they should recognize that their game is not very popular this year no one's playing it we're only like a month in and I can't find a bronze match what they need to do is change it so that it doesn't matter what round you're in of the bronze cup you know you just you get a game oh, are you saying like that good okay so yeah, so uh, they should change it so that just it's just random. You, anyone that wants a bronze tournament game, no matter what round they're in, just randomly gets matched up against someone else. So this dude has a sort of beast hybrid BPL mixture of everything. It looks absolutely awesome, and that's an awesome looking hybrid, I've got to say that. So this guy's probably going to be ace. I lost 3-0 in episode 1 of this. I'm probably going to lose in this one as well, unfortunately. Um, another thing I'd say, guys, is... If you haven't tried out bronze gameplay on uh, Ultimate Team 14, uh, de check it out. Definitely check it out. In my opinion, it's really, really good. Um, I, I strongly re oh nearly. I strongly recommend it on 14. I think it's fun. Anyone that's complaining, let's go nasty pace, 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 pace. Um, ah. Switch it or across. Right, okay, so let's get into your comments. Go on, Kato, you fast fuck. Oh, he's done him. Ref! Disgusting. Right, I can read a question. Uh, from Fraguden. Um, who would be your perfect FIFA Ultimate Team Legend card? Now, I did a FIFA Ultimate Team Legends video a, a long time ago. Um, I strongly, strongly, strongly believe, and it is just my opinion, and I know it's controversial, I honestly think that um, Zinedine Zidane is just the, my favourite player of all time and the best player I've ever watched and I absolutely love him uh, I think he's the best player ever I know that's incredibly controversial but uh, that's just my opinion and so I would absolutely love it if he had I don't even know if he does have but I would I would love it if he had an ultimate team so, ah, wrong foot um if you had an Ultimate Team Legends card, I think that would be absolutely epic. And so, Zinedine Zidane would be my uh, perfect FIFA 14 Ultimate Team card. Um, if you could hang out with any musician, dead or alive, who would it be? Um, uh, good question. Uh, I should say straight off the bat that I'm... Ooh, it's offside. I should say straight off the bat that I'm not a huge music fan, and that sounds really weird, like, everybody likes music but I actually don't I actually listen to talk sport in the car which is like a if you're not in England it's like a talk radio show um, I know that sounds quite boring and weird but goes that is oh another little cheeky foul from this dude um yeah I just struggle a bit with music um if I could hang out with a musician though oh go last oh. Colasso, Colasso. Sorry, interruptions. If I could hang out with any musician, I would hang out with Frank Sinatra, I think. Um, just because he's got that swag. He's got that YOLO swag 2K. Um, he's a good drinker. 
Um, he goes to trendy hotspots in like all the towns that he performed in, and look, he had a right laugh in the Rat Pack. Um, look him up if you don't know really much about him, but he does seem like such a cool dude, womanising. He was a part gangster, part time gangster. Offside. Um, yeah, and he just looks the coolest dude ever, so that is who I'd probably hang out with. Again, good question. Uh, who asked that? I should. I'll, I'll make sure I keep crediting the person who has that. Uh, Feet Davis 26 asked that. Um, only Use Me channel, um, which I'm guessing is a homage to Only Use Me Blade, um, who's an awesome YouTuber. So that's a cool channel name, a uh, cool uh, YouTube name. Nice one. Um, he says, if society was gay, would you be happy? Um, Techers. Um, yeah. Uh, to be honest, while playing FIFA, another goal, Lasso! Phil, Phil, Phil. Um, yes. <laughs> 2 0. Um, if society was gay, would you be happy? Um, I think by the nature of society. Oh, if this dude raids quits, I'm going to be absolutely gutted. Oh, you absolute noob. This is going to be the longest video ever now, unless I can force the next guy to rage quit. What a no, man. He was, he was in it. He just wasn't as good as me. And now it's going to take me ages because I'm going to be in the quarterfinal to find a match. Oh, and it's going to affect my fitness and that. I only got, I got like less than 200 coins for being in it. And FIFA sucks. FIFA aids. FIFA logic. Uh, let's just see what we've got here. Have that. I don't even care if everyone's fitness is too low. Sod that. Right, okay. So if society's gay, would I be happy? By the nature of society... I suppose I would just be adjusted to that environment. Um, I think one thing that uh, futurologists have sort of said, and scientists are pretty confident on, is that androgyny is becoming more and more um, what people think uh, is going to be like. It's going to be out. So it's, you know, so we've got same-sex marriages, we've got same-sex couples, we've got um, single mums having children naturally. Um, you've got test tube babies, you've got not actually needing a man to have a baby, not needing a woman to have a baby, surrogates, um, you've got women who earn more money than men, quite rightly, they work harder, um, and all that stuff, so, like, see what I mean? No opponents, We're, This it's half past six on a Monday evening when I'm doing this, like, should be like prime time, can't find a match, disgusting. Um, so, I don't know if it was like a silly question or... I, I was meant to give it a silly answer or not. I don't really fully understand the question. But I think I would be perfectly fine with it being gay. But I think what it's going to become is more androgynous. And by that I mean not very gender specific. You know, like the EU have made it so car insurance can't ask you your gender. Uh, can't take it into account. Uh, they've made it so that, yeah, all that sort of stuff. Um, the next one is flagged as spam. Andy Duggan, would you rather lick a hairy smelly armpit or eat rotten toenail? Um, I'd rather, straight off the bat, I didn't even look at this guy's team. What was this guy's team like, guys? Tell me in the comments. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'd rather lick an armpit than eat some. I'd rather just lick something that I didn't like than eat something that I didn't like, I think. And I, I don't know what more to say about that. And if you think about it, like, uh, Julia Roberts, I remember, famously had an airy... Chip, 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 chip. Ah. Ooh, that was pretty clever. Oh, this guy's a right showboat, isn't he? Confident at the back. Oh, Tackleson. If that went in. <laughs> um, yeah, like Julia Roberts famously had a hairy armpit once. So I guess you could get someone like really sexy and it wouldn't be quite as sexy as it should be, but... But you could get someone really sexy's hairy armpit and then you'd just be alright, wouldn't you? would be like, cool. <clears throat> It'd still be disgusting, but I don't know. Claim to fame, you know, if you licked Lady Gaga's armpit or something. Um, oh, no, wait. Oh, what the hell? I, sp I suppose that was incredibly ambitious throw, I guess. Um, uh, uh, uh. How old am I and what is my real name? I am 28. Um, that's quite old for a YouTuber, I guess. Oh, and Nepenthes is 28, I think. Um, the originator of this format. <laughs> um, and awesome YouTube, obviously. Go on, son. On your bike, on your bike, on your bike! 
Oh, I'll take a corner there all day. Um, I'm 28 and my real name is Richard. Now, I suppose that means I should have been called FIFA Dick, not not FIFA Vic. But um, don't start calling me that, guys. I'll 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 cry. Um, oh no, through he's through. Oh, touch. I read that beautifully. If you look, if you watch that back, I saw that he was through. Go. Ah. Bronze has run into trouble a lot more when you do skills, but it's still quite fun. Ooh, that would have been nice and such. Uh, okay, so. Uh, yeah, so my actual real name's Richard. I'm actually called Vic because a long, long time ago, when I played Counter Strike, I was called The Vicar. And that got shot into Vicar, and then it got shot into Vic. And then when I started playing FIFA on YouTube, FIFA Vic. Um, so. Touch. Touch. <laughs> Ref. It's very confident with his goalie. Very impressed. <coughs> so, next question. Uh, uh, uh. What is my favourite game apart from FIFA? Um, uh, I hate throwing sometimes. My favourite game apart from FIFA is now then. I spent a long time in my life a very long time in my life playing two games religiously. Um, oh, nice skills. Get up in the air. The fullback's never going to win that off him. Um, I spent my whole sort of early gaming life playing two games like daily, hours and hours and hours, taking it really seriously. I used to play Ultima Online, which was like. Um, it's like what World of Warcraft is now. A really, a really sort of popular MMORPG. But um, I played. Oh, carnage! Um, I played uh, Counter Strike re like competitively re in some really good clans, in some really good leagues and tournaments and stuff. Won some tournaments. Uh, I used to play that all the time. So those two games are very close to my heart. But current game, other than FIFA. Right now, at this very second of saying this, um, it's got to be Minecraft. I'm playing Minecraft on the Xbox. Um, I need to get it on the PC, really. But I'm playing it on... Corner. I'm playing it on the Xbox, and I'm absolutely loving it. Just for a, you know, just for an hour or so, a night, a couple of hours, whenever. So, oh, Techers. Baptiste. That's with his 91 stream pictures. Um, yeah. So I'm really enjoying Minecraft at the moment. Um... It's just a cool game. It's a cool game. I haven't played. I'm not. It's on obviously on this channel, so you, you guys know with Minecraft Monday and stuff. But um, yeah, I do really like it. Uh, I think it's just a cool sort of game. Uh, so check out Minecraft Monday if you haven't actually. Good excuse to sort of plug it. Did that take a touch off the defender? Yes, it did. Nice. He's going to be shitting it on this as well. Get up. Oh, no way. You can't deal with this pressure. Referee dirt. I don't know if I've got any good free kick takers. Uh, free kick accuracy. 69. Go on then, son. What does he do when I bring this guy out? See if he's staying on the line. Oh! <laughs> Did he ever go in both posts? What a ledge. Ooh, you've got to be careful on FIFA 14 and stuff like that because interceptions are fierce. Another free kick. Dirt. Oh! Uh, sorry guys, this game's getting caught on me. I've got one guy back and two of his guys. Whoops. Did just enough to put him off there. <laughs> um, okay. So, who do I support is the next question. That's from Luke Upex. Uh, sorry, I've probably been missing people's names off. Some of the questions. Apologies, apologies. 
Um, <clears throat> who do I support in real life? Football, I'm guessing. Um, he means, and if he does mean that, I actually support. Um, although I'm not a proper, I'm not a very good fan. I'm a Teletext fan. If that is that even a reference anymore? I'm sort of like, I don't go very often, but I'm actually. Oh no. Oh, this game. Um, I'm actually a Leeds United fan. Uh, I don't go that often. Um, I live just outside Leeds. Um, yeah, being a fan, I think I'm sort of from Leeds area-ish. Um, but the main reason for that is they were absolutely awesome in 1990 when I sort of first started seriously watching football. Oh, that would have been sick. Um, yeah, they were, in 1990 they won the league. I think it was the last year where it wasn't called the Premier League. It was Division 1. Bring it back for that little foul ref. Dirtbag. Oh, save. He loves, he loves giving it to his goalie. Um... Yeah, they were awesome. They had like Gary Speed, uh, David Batty, Cantona, uh, uh, who else, man? All sorts of players at that time. Really good, strong team. Lucas Legend Radaby. Um, and all those sort of people. So, um, I, yeah, so I, I sort of spotted them at that time. And I still spot them, but I don't go as often as I used to. And I sort of only follow their progress on the internet and stuff now. So, um so that is who I support. Good question again. Um, next, go 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 pace. Um, next question is from uh, a long time awesome subscriber of mine, uh, uh, Bredan. Is it Bredan? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to work out the numbers. Uh, for Bre Bredan one two three four is his numbers. Ref, dirt. Oh, that is dirt. Ah, oh, has he fucking legitimately fouled me there, man? Oh, sorry, I go quiet when it gets exciting. Um, okay, so uh, Bredan one two three four says. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. He says, what's your opinion of the FIFA community, uh, specifically all the people moaning that FIFA 14 is not as good as previous versions and this is OP and that's OP and stuff. Uh, my opinion on it is, and I know where you're coming from, that, uh, yeah, we are, are two, we are two whinges community. Um, I've, but I would say that's not necessarily the FIFA community. If you look at people always whinging that, um, Call of Duty is not the best Call of Duty, and oh, Call of Duty is not the best Call of Duty since uh, COD 4 or Modern Warfare 2. It's not been good, um, and they're always complaining that certain guns are overpowered and and stuff. And so they're always whinging as well. So I don't know if it's just the gaming new wave of gaming community that that bitches and moans too much in in general. Oh, he's lucky boy. He's, he's living on the edges, dude. Little chip across. Oh, ah. Um, so I think that's the, the modern gaming community is very whingy. Um, ultimately, I th yeah, I think it is bad. I think it is bad in FIFA, and I think people should just embrace the game or play a different game. I guess. Um, oh no, get to it. Oh, how, why? <laughs> Great block. The best thing about this team, the forward players going forward are excellent, but the real ace thing about this is this is the back four. Those, those defenders are just overpowered for bronze defenders. I think you could compete with this back four if the rest of your team was gold against gold teams, you know? There's got to be a foul there somewhere. He's rough, this dude. Um, 
the FIFA community is a really interesting community. Like, the, there's other things that annoy me more. I definitely say that about the FIFA community. Uh, specifically, like the YouTube FIFA community. I hate how when someone gets to X amount of subscribers, suddenly, oh no, offside. Suddenly, um, they be just become part of this like elite clique. You know, if you hit 20k subscribers on YouTube and you do FIFA, then suddenly, uh, like. The top YouTubers, let's say, the top FIFA YouTubers, are suddenly willing to chat to you on Twitter when they've ignored you for ages before that. Um, like that, I mean, that's just, I mean, it's a natural thing to do, and it's, and you can see from a business point of view of YouTube why they would be doing that. But it's bad, isn't it? You know, like you should. I chat to my friends and subscribers on YouTube, on Twitter, you know. And anyone who says something like interesting, but I don't look at people's credibility before chatting to them, you know, or before I'll bother to respond to them. I'll respond to anybody. Anyone on Twitter, you know. Um, so I think that's really rubbish that people do that. I knew he was going to try and be real calm and slick, and that's why he got that block in there. Um, but, um, but yeah, so that annoys me. Um, people on people constantly sending you messages saying, "Check out my channel. Can you like my channel and stuff?" And you've never even spoke to them before. That's really frustrating as. Well, like at least start by start that off by being like I mean I, I'm I suppose this is like something that uh, is easy for me to sulk about because I'm not I'm not very good at making YouTube friends and FIFA community friends and stuff. So in a way, it's my laziness rather and and their smartness really, rather than rather than you know so. So I guess that's something, that's some personal gripe of mine, that people have these false friendships to gain subscribers. Um, whereas, like, the people that I've hooked up with and I talk to in the FIFA community, it's just because I want to talk to them, you know, not because I want their subscribers. Um, but I suppose that's a little bit naive of me as well. And I, I think that's one of the main reasons why I haven't grown fast on YouTube. It's been very steady. You know, I've, been, I've made as many videos as all the old big guys, you know. And... You know, partly because they're not good enough, but um, partly because I don't really put myself out there. Um, and that is why I haven't grown too much. Ah, oh, that's sloppy. Break. Oh, dear. Go, 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 go. I'll put it on ultra attacking, actually. For this last four minutes of stoppage time. Another thing, obviously, that is rife in the FIFA community is coin selling and coin sellers. And people need to realise that's sort of really bad. It's against the law to start with. Um, you know, I'm not saying never do anything that's against the law. But it's against the law. It affects the prices that you pay. So, like, you're needing a coin seller because of coin sellers. If you get what I mean. Ribbery is a million coins partly because... Coin because of coin sellers, people can afford to pay a million coins. Ah, have to go for it here. Goalie coming up, perhaps. I don't know. Um, so coin sellers is bad, and like people whinge about coin sellers one day. Oh nah, that was shy. I wasn't concentrating. Um, people whinge about coin sellers like on day one, and then they get to 10k subscribers, and they suddenly start advertising coin sellers. Uh, and it's a little bit sell outy in a way. Um, let's just check the stats of this. Felt like I dominated the game, even though I wasn't really paying attention. Let's have a look. Uh, that was a pretty even game, to be fair. The dude did all right. Two headers, two goals for him. Um, so, yes. The, so the FIFA community is a little bit odd and a little bit sucky at times. Um, 
so that's a little bit frustrating in that respect. Coin sellers, personally, you know, I'm not down with that coin selling thing, but that's because I'm being given a, like a ludicrous offer. If someone offered me a thousand dollars a month to sell coin, to advertise coins at the beginning of each video, I'd have to do it. You know, I'm not rich enough to not take that. So it's again, it's hypocrisy, but um, it leaves a really sour taste that people are advertising coin sellers and like the same people that advertise coin sellers then get to do like promotional work for EA and it's like they're breaking laws against EA criminalizing acts um, encouraging young people to also commit criminal acts but then suddenly EA turn a blind eye to it and it's a bit strange it's a bit funny it's a funny one it's a very strange one but like I say again it's me being a hypocrite probably uh, in disliking it so I've been FIFA Vic, thanks for watching this, sorry it went on ages, the guy rage quit, uh, remember that I won that first game before you look at the stats of this game, um, <laughs> but um, please get the comments, questions in the comments, uh, use my AskFM account once I've made it and stuff, and um, all's good, thank you for watching, sorry it went to my second channel this, but hopefully you guys see it anyway, bye bye!